to the Green Woman Tarot. This is a general reading for you to see what's on the cards for the fourth week of June 2020. So it will be a fairly brief and general reading for Capricorn. But before we delve into the tarot deck, we need to consult the oracle. Oops, all of the oracle. So I'll just give the oracle a quick shuffle and then we'll see what words of wisdom the oracle may have to impart to you. What messages? Oh, okay. That's very sudden. I'll keep that one for you. We'll get one more. What message does the oracle have for Capricorn for the fourth week of June 2020? What messages does the Oracle have for Capricorn for the fourth week of June 2020? Any other messages for Capricorn for the fourth week of June 2020? I'll just draw one more for you. Let's see what we get. You've got patience. The lady. <laughs> Patience may be required to deal with a situation this week. And you've also got confidence. The comb. Bringing you confidence. So you need to be patient and confident that things will turn out as you wish. Patience and confidence are your keywords for the upcoming week. Let's see what's on Tarot Deck. What's on the cards for Capricorn for the fourth week of June 2020? What's on the cards for Capricorn for the fourth week of June? 2020. What messages are there for Capricorn for the fourth week of June 2020? Keep that one for you, but we'll just draw the rest. Take the middle pile. Two, three, four, five. All right, let's see. Let's see what's on the cards, Capricorn. You have the five of swords and judgment. And you have justice. You have eight of wands, the magician, and the star. You also have the four of pentacles. And I'm just going to just change your thing. You may miss. Yeah, that's nice. That's much better, isn't it? Well, well. Well, so I'm getting a sense that there is a situation that is going to require patience from you because there is um, a degree of disharmony, discord among friends that's the sense I get when I look at the Five of Swords today. It doesn't usually go quite that way, but today when I look at it, I think there is discord among comrades. What it, the Five of Swords is all about is um, victory at a cost. 
defeat, a victory that alienates people from the victor because of acting in a self-serving and um, uncompassionate manner. Perhaps too much confidence in, their, in themselves and their ability and being very abrasive and hurtful towards people and hence pushing them away as they take a claim to what their um, their victims, if you want to put it that way, have lost. So um, there is a unpleasant, unharmonious situation around you that requires patience. Because don't worry, whatever this um, injustice was, um, justice will be dealt in the end and um, they will get their come up and so I hope it's not you who's been <laughs> this this strife amongst others yeah so but having said that we'll go on to to read the cards on a, on a deeper and um, a more general level There will be a call to action for you. I think what the judgment is saying here that you can manifest the results you you want to to rectify the the situation at the beginning of the week, the inharmonious inharmonious situation. You will have the resources and the knowledge and the ability to manifest peace and justice. The star showing new hope after a period of turmoil, um, a new direction to go in, a new focus. And perhaps it's a focus that would require your confidence to some degree. Just something that brings back balance, brings back harmony, and brings back fairness into a situation that seems to have gotten out of hand. I feel you also being guided by the tarot cards to move with it swiftly. The eight of ones is all about action, not just sitting back hoping it'll all resolve itself. You need to use action and communication with confidence knowing that you can make a difference, that you can manifest the results of fairness and redirection effectively. You will be the one called to do it. Yes, I'm getting a sense when I look at this, it's, it's quite a domestic situation, but it could well be for many of you in work and um, but it's about relationships. It's about someone being bullied, someone being unfairly treated and a call to rectify the situation with the resources and not only physical resources and, and power you have, but the, um, the other, I mean authority you have, but also your ability to um, communicate with charm, because the magician is a bit of a charmer, to communicate with charm and um, and wise authority, to bring about peace and hope once more.
And what do we have at the bottom of the deck? You have the Four of Pentacles. Perhaps this is all brought about by someone wanting to hold on to something too tightly. Someone not wanting to share, perhaps. But there you have it, Capricorn. A task for you this week, I feel, of... Um, Perhaps not quite peacemaker, but someone who rectifies a situation that is inharmonious, unfair, and brings about a just and hopeful conclusion for all involved. So I hope you liked your reading, and if you did, please remember to hit the little like button, and have a good week, and God bless you till we meet again. Bye.